Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail called a Blue Monday, and it's perfect because today is Monday. Having said that, the original recipe comes to us from the Savoy Cocktail from 1930 by Harry Craddock, but it also pops up again in the 1934 Official Mixers Manual by Patrick Gavin Duffy. And I'm saying that really slowly because I'm having a hard time remembering his name for some reason. Anyways. The cocktail version that I'm going to make is actually a slight variation on the original 1930s edition that I found on Simon Difford's website. And that's called Difford's Guide for those of you who uh, aren't familiar with that website. But I am making some slight changes because that cocktail requires citron vodka. And you know what? I don't have any, but I do have some fantastic home infused vanilla vodka. And we're gonna use that instead. So let's get into it. Now this is a simple five ingredient cocktail, really easy. And you know what? Even though there's no fruit juice in it, we are going to shake this. So what we will do is we will start with some of my home infused vanilla vodka, really simple. Just take a vanilla bean and add it to some vodka and just let it sit for as long as you want to get that flavor. But on the flip side, if you don't have any vanilla beans because they're expensive, you can use a little bit of vanilla extract. And again, you'll just wanna ratio it out until you get the flavor profile that you want. And that's really important because it's your cocktail. And we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Next, we're going to add a little bit of triple sec. And this will give us some nice orange notes, but it'll also give us a little bit of sweetness. Look at the size of this bottle, it's all I could get. You can't get a big bottle of this where I live. However, we are going to use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. The next thing that you're going to add is a little bit of white vermouth. Now, the difference guide calls for a dry vermouth. I don't have an extra dry vermouth, but I do have Dolan's. And you know what? This is just gonna be fantastic. Full bodied and give us just that hint of complexity that we need. And we're gonna again use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Fantastic, it smells great. And you can't go wrong with a good vermouth. Now, the next thing we are going to use is some orange bitters. And for this, we're going to use two dashes. Stupid piece of crap. The friggin' Ah, there it is. There's the dasher cap. As you can tell, that wasn't a dash, so I've had to remake the drink <laughs> with two dashes. Beautiful. So now we have orange notes on top of bitter orange notes. However, we're going to add some blue orange notes, and blue oranges are fantastic. Actually, it's an orange liqueur dyed blue, and this will give us our blueness for orange on orange on orange but we're gonna use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Next thing we're gonna do is add some ice to our glass because we're gonna shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds, but you wanna make sure that you've got a good full glass here because you wanna be able to control the amount of dilution you get. So slap that on, make sure you have a very good seal because when you do this, you wanna make sure it doesn't go apart. And now we're gonna shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand blue oranges, like so. Now put this off to the side, and what we're going to do is put this into a rocks glass. Use whatever you want, add some ice. I'm going to use a nice big cube of ice, like so. Like, like so. And what we will do now is we will fine strain this with our tea strainer just to keep it all the chunks of ice. This looks gorgeous, it smells great, you just can't go wrong with it. Now, what I am going to do, instead of garnishing this with some orange, I'm going to take a swath of grapefruit because I just want a little bit of that nice flavor, that bitterness to come through. And whoa, I'm knocking stuff over. Give it a bit of a squeeze on there like so. Wrap that around the edge. And now, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to trim this up so it looks nice and we'll put a nice little twist on here, just like so. Look at that, 
absolutely gorgeous. A beautiful blue, a nice little hint of, well, grapefruit. Let's give it a smell. So initially you smell the orange and you get little hints of vanilla and a little bit of the vermouth. And of course you get this grapefruit directly underneath us. Oh yeah, that is <coughs> wrong too. <tube. coughs> Sorry, let's try this again. Mm. No, that is very, very good. Oh, you get that orange hint. It's not overpoweringly orange. The vermouth and the uh, uh, the vanilla vodka really blend those flavors nicely. And the oils from the grapefruit really just hit it perfect. What I'll do is I will put the ingredients in the method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.